the land assemblage tax credit, what's your opinion of that program, which was bumped up on this? Well, I mean, what they did, I mean, they, they, they went from, uh, they kept the cap at, at 95 on that, but they allowed an accelerated uh, uh, payout of that particular credit. Um, I mean, we're going to look at that one very, very carefully. Uh, and, and, and as the proposals move forward, look at those very, very carefully to make sure that we're getting the, 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 uh, uh, the return on those uh, uh, that, that, that has been advertised. But that being said, um, you know, the footprint of the, of the program that they're attempting to do to redevelop North St. Louis, one of the, one of the most economically challenged areas of our state, uh, is, is pretty exciting. Uh, and the opportunity as we, as we, for example, uh, move forward on building that Mississippi, to, uh, that Illinois to Missouri bridge north of, of downtown, and to have a, a business park waiting for it when it's completed is it, it, pretty significant. Um, so we're going to look at it very carefully, um, but, but I do think that, uh, um, you know, the, that, that a $20 million cap in there is, is, I don't mean in any way, shape, or form to minimize the amount of, of public dollars that is, but in a in a over billion dollar project, uh, I don't expect that a land assemblage part of this bill will be the the uh, the the the, uh, the lever uh, that that makes the uh, ultimate uh, difference as to whether that project goes forward or not. Um, thank you all for coming out today. And once again, I mean it it is. Uh, um, the legislature worked on this. I mean they worked hard, but they succeeded. Uh, they succeeded in a bipartisan way after long and strong debates in the House and the Senate on these issues. Um, and, and a lot of folks like to, like to look at Jeff City. Uh, a lot of folks like to look at, at the political makeup of Jeff City and whatnot and be cynical. Uh, the product of the legislature this year on this particular bill is something I was very proud to sign. And the process that got us there of open and honest debate about serious and important economic and training issues for the future of the state uh, was, in my view, a, a high mark of the legislative session, and, and I'm very proud to stand here with this bipartisan group of legislators behind me, as I did today in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Uh, in each stop, Democrats and Republicans stood together. In each stop, people were proud of what they had done, and, and I'm proud to be a part of that. It was an honor to sign this bill, and I look forward to, uh, to sharpening these tools and creating jobs from Missouri. Thank you all very much.